Hey guys, Luke here, and this is uh, going to be the third episode of the Southford career mode. Um, so here's the lineup for the game against London, uh, London Broncos with Jamie Soward. Uh, he's still there. It is 2014, but yeah, he's still there. Um, something like it's not going to be the identical lineups to uh, this year's. You can see Sivna Sieve is also there, so uh, that's another strange one. Um, but obviously Soward played there last year in real life for like half season. But we're in pretty good form lately. See, uh, Wild, Sean Wild, I think is his name. So, S, S. Wild, anyways. Um, he makes a good run there. We get a penalty. They catch it. And uh, he, he goes down the line here. It's Kafusi, But Broughton catches him. And that could have ended really, really badly. I see them just getting another repeat set pretty much right here. Nice uh, bomb catch, but. And then we put Bruff through a hole. Who then finds Gleason? Real nice try there. Just, just simple stuff. Just the simple tries that you can do in this game. Um, but Gleason scoring a nice try. Not sure what number he is. Wish I knew the numbers better, but I don't. But that's number four, which is Bruff, I think. And he puts it over. I wish he could actually control the numbers on this game. That's really nice play by them. You got Atkins up the line. I'm not sure if that's like Jordan Atkins or whatever, but whatever. I don't know. I just said whatever a lot there. Sauer puts up a bomb. They score. It should be 6 all, and it is 6 all half time. Tries to Gleason and Grooks, and Sauer kicked their goal, and uh, Ruff scored ours. We get an intercept from Broughton there. I think the last episode was the one where we kept getting intercept against us. Uh, we get one to go for us right here. Really good player, Broughton. Very quick. Um, just really good. Number 9. Probably wouldn't be my ideal number for him, but whatever. And then we see Gibson in the centres, or he might be on the wing actually. Um, Cerner slash winger, most likely on the wing here, um, just dazzled their defence there and scored. Going to the line, nice little ball there, Gleason palms off one, gets the ball to Broughton, Broughton gets tackled by the fullback, but that's not where it ends. Go do the left, just use the numbers, and we get wild through a hole, just draw and pass with the defender, he does, and Wardle scores, and Wardle would have been the centre, actually, most likely, and Gleason would have been the winger. So let's try to Wardle, he's had a pretty good start to the year. And then that's just a draw and pass really. Uh, we had the numbers there, he just had to just hit, just pass at the right time and we did that. So he well and truly won that one. Um, score, to end it was 28 to 6. Ringy Chase was man of the match. Uh, th here's all the other results from the game. Um, all the other round 5 results. As we see, uh, St Helens beat Leeds. I think... Sam Tompkins is not on that side. Wait, he didn't even play for St. Helens, what I'm talking about. Sam Tompkins does not play for his other side, his current side, by the way. So, uh, we're taking on Wakefield at Trinity Wildcats. Um, so, yeah, should be should be another win to us. To be fair, I'm pretty confident we're going to win, like, 99% of the games. Uh, Richard Owen, out through injury, I think. For a while, we've got Jared McCullum. Up at the back, uh, former Bulldog. We signed him. Pretty much, I just signed him because I knew who he was. And Broughton scores a try there. I think it was Gleason in putting through. Just, it's so easy to score in this game. You just run, in, you just run in between the centre and the winger, which like the centre has to make the tackle, but it also draws in the winger. As you can see right there, the winger came in. So we got a pretty tough kick here for Bruff. He's the number four. Slots it straight over, curves it around, has a Mel Masri like. Actually, no, I'm not going to go there. Nothing will ever be as good as Hasm. And they strip the ball here. Can we get the ball back? No, we don't. Bruff was the one who uh, got um, got pulled off, I think. Or, oh, in fact, it could have been Rangy Chase. I'm not entirely sure. It was one of the halves because it had one of the stars. But at 6 or half time, it's another close game at half time. Dean Collis kicking the goal. And then we're about to break the depth lock, do we? Yes, we do. Gleason, nice try there. Just got put in the hole. They got up to video ref, but we all know it's going to be a try. But they just want to check it. And try time. That uh, six hole will turn into ten six, which will hopefully turn into twelve six, and it does turn into twelve six. So we see him celebrating. We just got the goal kick just to be certain. 
and we get it. For a second there I thought that I missed and I was just about to eat my words from what I just said before. Down the attack but nice offload there, real nice offload to Kirkman and a great tackle by McCullum and then we defended out. That's it. Gleason, oh sorry, Gibson running it back. Nice, nice run there. Makes a good good 30 odd metres there. Ringy chase, draws and pass to Wardle. Puts in a little grubber. It's a terrible grubber. Um, watching it back should have uh, just passed it. Get it to Tyson. He could have scored himself. He passed the ball to Gibson. Gibson got tackled, but it's not to matter. Uh, it doesn't matter because we win 12 6. Ringy chase, man of the match again. That's two in a row there in this episode. Here's the other results. And I'd like to say, uh, it's come to the end of the episode. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please give the video a like and uh, give it a well, give it a thumbs up, a like, the same thing. And subscribe to the channel for more. And you see, we're on top of the table. Five wins, one loss out of six games. Ten points. Points difference really good as well. Alright, see you guys. Bye.